The rise in terrorist activity has increased the likelihood of fires, bombings, biochemical and nuclear radiological contaminations. To ensure that emergency response teams can act as efficiently and safely as possible, new technology has been developed and is currently in use by the U.S. Armed Forces. It was recently demonstrated at Quantico Marine Base in Virginia. We just saw a simulation of what could be a terrorist incident where there is a, a primary device which would be like a car bomb and then a secondary device which would be designed to take out first responders and that could be a nuclear, a chemical or a biological release. It's important that testing and training scenarios are as real as possible. The situation is very real. It's not a matter of if but a matter of when and to what extent. We all need to be prepared as best as we can, and training and training and training is absolutely critical in the event that there is a WMD terrorist attack anywhere in the United States. Technology must be deployed that can deal with an actual emergency. IntelliGuard now has the ability to decontaminate chemical and biological agents, as well as perform nuclear and radiological extraction for most surfaces. If this were an actual WMD event, things would have happened differently in that the first thing would have been to detect the, the actual event to determine what was released. And then there would have been setting up of perimeters and trying to map the spread of the, the contaminant and things like that. Our part of the puzzle, which is the, the cleanup, the decontamination, or the tacking down to reduce the spread of the agent, would have come later after it was determined what had actually occurred. Any technology that helps save lives is well worth the effort. For World Business Review, this is Mark Streeter reporting.